Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. The trench, I got this out the kitchen. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. When I talk, they pay attention. You can learn something. You better listen. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. A hundred thousand on my wrist. Fuck around, send a few thousand on your bitch. She get nasty on. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy ECO. I know Money Mosel, by the way, and we're creating content every damn day. Check it, man. And I'm here with the lovely, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, my dad. Walk on. Hey, it's funny how we, we sometimes we get all us get on the set and, uh, you know, we just start talking about, you know, different things, man. And uh, something we wanted to bring a valid point to is uh, the fact that uh, Bill Cosby is home, man. That's a good thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Some people might disagree with you. A lot of people I don't think probably did nothing wrong. You don't think he did nothing wrong? No. You think it was a lot of accusation? Yep. Wow. That's well, this is the part that, you know, I'm looking at this article right now, and I see this section that says today's majority decision regarding Bill Cosby is not only disappointing, but of concern in that it may discourage those who are seeking justice for sexual assault in the criminal justice system. So when you think about people who have gone through things that Bill Cosby was um, accused of, and then he's being released like this, people are gonna be like, how can I get justice? Look, though, see what you just did. You just judged him before he even got convicted. <clears throat> yeah, well, he had, got, he had gotten convicted, he but it was overturned. He got convicted, right. So how did he get overturned though? The, it, because he took it back to trial and appealed his case. Thank you. And so oh, that, that somebody else won. said that he he they didn't feel like it was. Thank you. I think, I mean, you know, it was. Do you think age has something to do with it? There's the, yes. the, you know, he's no. no. I'm not talking about I, I them. I'm let talking him, about go. why they let him go. Yeah. I, 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 I because he's too. just older. No, I, I see. I, I mean, see him both ways. No, I think he's. Uh, I, I mean, hey man, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, <laughs> it was old accusations to me from the jump. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. If it's over ten years, why would you bring it back up? Yeah, well, I mean, I hear a lot of different things. It's a lot of different people say a lot of different things about these cases, man. But if it's 10 years old, why would you bring it back up? You've been forgot about that. Because if it was still in your brain, you would have been brought it up. A lot of people say he was trying to buy the network. You know, that's the hypothetical. Everybody that's exactly he was what trying it to was. buy NBC or something like that's that. That's exactly what it was. He was trying to do something big, something big for himself, and they didn't like it. So they wanted to bring something back up on him. Yeah, so, I mean, he did He did some more. How much time did he do? Do you, do you know how much time he done? He's been in there since, I think it was 2018. Okay, so he, he, he didn't, oh, he did way more than two years, didn't he? Yeah. Wow. Two he years. was sentenced in 2018. But, I mean. To the, 10 years in, in prison. He was supposed to do 10. But they overturned his conviction and dropped all charges. Exactly. So you really can't hold it against him. It's like Thank it never you. happened. It never happened. Exactly. But in his eyes, it did because he spent two years. You well, right. He spent more than two. Little, yeah, more than two. So who who the one got traumatized? So but people never but, look at that. Who the okay. one got traumatized? So but can you say for a fact that he didn't do these things to these young I'm ladies? I'm not gonna say he didn't do justice it. I'm not gonna say he didn't, he didn't do, do it. it. But justice say he did. Thank you. So if justice say he didn't do it, they didn't do it. But justice did say he did it at first. And then he got convicted. Turned back around. Yeah, you know. Hey man, you know. Bill. I think with the justice system. Okay, one thing. I love law. I love. I love the law. And one thing. It's really, on what is said, um, beyond a reasonable doubt. So if you have a really good lawyer who can put certain things in front of a jury and make it look a certain way, if they have any doubt that you commit, you didn't commit it. Even if you're guilty, yes, they they're gonna let you go. You know what I mean? So it's really based on the lawyer, as long as it's not just outblown evidence because this was too too old of a case exactly you know what i mean but they don't have what's the statute of limitation on there's no statute of limitation i think it was 10 years it's 10 years 10 years on but yeah but for the main fact they still brought it up it wasn't that old and it, and it was multiple cases and it was multiple cases but why did multiple cases come out at one time because one person spoke up and it gave the other courage. And it gave courage to come Man, out. To be honest with y'all, I think somebody spoke up a long time ago. They just threw it under the rug until he tried to do something big and then brought it back out. He's oh, yeah. been doing big things, though. But no, I'm saying, no, 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 no. Not like buying not NBC. What he's saying. I'm saying, like, he's trying to buy something bigger than, like, he can put a lot of black people on with MB buying it. But you got to think about this, a right? Network, right. But I understand what you're saying, but look at this point. Back then, say somebody did try to um, step step out and say something about it. They're going to bribe them, you know, pay them off, whatever, for them not to say anything. They go about their business. 
I'm sure the lawyers have them sign something to say you can't come and say such and such and such because we already took care of you. Fine. But there, listen, but that, hold on. But cool. then one person who have the integrity and morals and whatever and say, you know what, you're not going to buy me off. I'm not going to shut my mouth up. And they step up and say something about it. And a lot of people. I'm older. So when I think about back in the days compared to now, you think about somebody in the public eye and think about, okay, if I speak up against them, I'm not going to get anywhere. They're going to look at me like I'm crazy. They're going to this, they're going to that. I'm not going to have any way of winning this case because they're in a public eye. Just like they talk about policemen. Some policemen with their wives and whatever, they could, have, they could be physically abusing their wives, but if their wives ever stand up and say, he physically abused me, I don't see them winning. But you got you to gotta understand that it don't matter if you win as long as you put it out there. Like if, you, if she would have put it out there 10, 20 years ago, that, that's what would still matter right now to this day. It's then, just then, fu- then it's it, funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then they would have been saying that, oh, she got a case back in the day, so it's like he could have been doing this. Yeah. He's trying to hire people. They're not bringing it back up like that. They're not doing it at all. And, and, and again, um, in the 70s, in the 80s, Bill Cosby out here uh, taking advantage of white women. Is this something that, is it really realistic in, in the 90s? I no. mean, think about the times we were in. It's not, I, it's I not realistic say, at all. I, I just really understand that. Depends on the woman and her mental state. Uh, I just understand that a, a black man in the 70s. Depends on that's her rich. mental state. That's dealing that's with rich. the white girl. Listen to what you're saying, though. A black man in the 70s dealing with white girls. Listen to what you're saying. That's going to be hard to do. Yeah, I'm that's gonna, going to be hard. It's it, it's something that if she speaks up, it definitely thank you. It's gone. It's for gone. Somebody. Thank you. Yeah, it's but gone. depends She's on her. White. Depends She's white. He's on black. her. Okay, let's go. Let me let me put it a different way. Depends on her mental state, and the reason why I say that, I I'm not gonna call any names, but I know of people right now who you have a white person, female, and a black man. And he has been very, very, very abusive towards her. Black and blue everywhere and whatever. And then for me, my, and looking at it, I'm like, but you're a white woman in today's day and age. You can easily get him arrested. But guess what? Her mental state is not there. When I say that, she's not crazy or anything like that. But because abuse starts mentally before it starts physically. So she doesn't have that courage that, um, to, to, to go and and try to turn him in, so to say. No matter yeah. who and, and how many people have said something to her. I just, I just one thing I, I just say before we end this is, uh, you know, if it, if it did happen, I, I feel bad for those women that it happened to. Um, if it did not happen and they had kept Bill in there for all this time and, and, and really they don't have no concrete enough evidence that he should have been there, I thank God that he got out. I mean, I, when I look at from where, where our people came from, even though he seemed to be de- dis- detached once he yeah. came into his fame a lot here at the end, I just know that Bill Cosby, um, he did do a lot for the culture. And, you know, people council culture and really kind of a lot of different networks and a lot of different people. But, um, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the, it was overturned. Mm-hmm. The man is well over into his 80s. Hey, man, give that man a break. You know, give that man a rest. I mean, what are you, what, what what you, you going to get from it now? You're right. But people, you know, in the justice system, they look at, I'm setting an example for other people. Yeah. That's really what well, they look at. Black people get a lot of examples set on. Thank you. I was just going to say that. It's a just lot of time. Go look in the prison and all of the different uh, facilities and look at how many African Americans are locked up and a lot of them falsely accused. There are so many different people that in our culture has been victimized by that system. So, okay, Bill got out. We still got and, a lot of our people. Our, most of our people, Thank majority you. rule in that, that whole segment of being in prison and being incarcerated. They have taken, and the law has always been in a situation where it was brothers walking to a courtroom where they was not, there was not people in there that looked like them. And they were being uh, pushed into a situation where there was no win even if they should have won. So ask yourself, is this something, um, do, I mean, is this something that we should get all in cahoots over? Or, you know, hey, man, we got to, if it was the other way around, I guarantee you it wouldn't be a big fuss. But our people, mm-hmm. some kind of way, with that crab in a bucket mentality, 
they always find a way to find a way to bash each other. Exactly. And I think I think it needs to be some waking up done. I think that's, that's just my opinion. It's hard though for people. I, I say th- I say it's hard because like once you get once they say you convicted of something, that's what everybody think of you. Even if you even if you are even innocent. if you beat it, even I if mean, you are innocent, they still gonna think you did it. So it's like there's it's like there's no way around it no, at all. But even but when you got this on you, when you got this oh, on that's you, thing. you know it's 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 a situation in itself, and it's quite different than what the masses have to deal with that don't have this on. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So hey man, I hope all parties come up with a way to heal from this whole situation, man. Um, hey man. And I don't want to. I want to say this. Um, Felicia Rashad. She mm-hmm. made a statement on it as well, and she said, "Finally, a terrible wrong is being righted. Wow. A miscarriage of justice is corrected." Wow. And she tweeted that um, with a picture of Bill Cosby. But in today's day, when you say things like that, you know you're going to get a lot of backlash. Yeah. So then she had to go back on Twitter again and say something like this: "I fully support." survivors of sexual assault coming mm-hmm. forward. My post was was in no way intended to be insensitive to their truth. Personally, I know from friends and family that such abuse has lifelong residual effects. My heartfelt wish is for healing. Wow. But you see how you have to always, in everything you say nowadays, you have to always correct it and make sure that because somebody's going to always feelings going to get hurt well, somebody's going to take it in a wrong way well okay what i'm just and, saying and, and, i mean you if you got if you if you're a person that says what you say you and mean and just stand what on you say, it you have to stand behind what you say so you're and telling me that problem. she shouldn't have to go back nope, and say something else. i mean i think, well, why, I think should she have, why should she have to uh control both feelings i think that's i think that's her trying to 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 compromise exactly what she really feels and that's the problem with everybody. Nobody, everybody is so sensitive about different things. Exactly. I get it that 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 happens. I don't think she's compromising what she feels. I'm just saying um, what what I think or what I feel that she's doing. She said what she said and she meant it. I agree with you. I but, see it was a double standard. Right. It's, it's, it. it's a th- it's a way I where mean, a double. When, yeah, it's a catch twenty two because she wants to show it, that she supports him, both sides. but yet at the same she support, time she, she don't support somebody exactly, abusing him. But she's exactly. saying she don't think Bill even done was that. right. So she, so she feel like he was wrong. She had to she had to address and make sure that there was nobody could you know creep in between and misconstrued what she's trying yeah. to say. Cool. Yeah, I think you know my thing is man. Shout out to everybody that's been following Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man. Do us a favor, man. Subscribe and like, but I want you to comment and to our Instagram page yeah. as well. <laughs> I want you to comment and just um, um, get in the comments and tell us what you think about this Bill uh, Cosby uh, situation and um, um, and the victims as well, man. Like I said, we this channel is about love. We love everybody, and at the end of the day, um, we definitely want healing on both sides, right? Say, man. What I say about this, I say, um, if you catch yourself in a situation like that, don't wait. Mm. Get up, go to the hospital, get your DNA, get all of that, you know, everything taken care of where they have everything on file. Okay. Tell friends, take pictures, have proof. That's what I look at nowadays. Wow. Well, hey, man, uh, Fisherman's Jamaica, Money Moses, done another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.